Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading. We are looking at you and this capacity of a decision is being made. What I'm being guided to say, there is something coming in that may make you feel guilty. You might be ending a relationship, ending a job, ending a situation that brings you disharmony. If it isn't you, it may be the other side. We're going to take a look at that right now. So you guys, this is a general reading for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Sagittarius. And we are looking at love, career, family, friends, finance, whatever comes through me, I will relate to you and using the cards. So I'm being guided to say justice is getting ready to come through. Whatever was wrong is going to be made right. In the beginning of the week, this justice card, you could be dealing with the Libra possibly. There is back and forth communication to clarify a situation. Putting your resume out is what's going to bring you that, that new beginning. Justice is a good thing. That is a good thing. That is balance in your life because this represents balance in the right way for you. So get your resume out there. Do what you need to do and communicate to this person. Now we have the Queen of Swords. That's a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius individual. And we also have the Empress. So you could be dealing with more than one situation at a time. This is two separate energies and it may be one. So let's look at this closer. This is a person who knows how to remove people from their life. They know how to listen and they can hear the truth. Like the, it, they can tell when somebody's lying. That Queen of Swords is a powerful person. So powerful, especially when they are in their true form of standing in the upright. They come in as the Empress. Somebody who's completed a cycle. They've been through all of these different type of scenarios in life. And they know exactly who can be around them and who can't. There's a sense of justice coming in between you. You're going to make a decision between two different offers when it comes to what you have been investing your time in for six dash eight months. So you may have applied for more than one job six to eight months ago or one job. And now you have two different offers, two separate companies to almost two different venues. Although they're similar, they're going to be a little bit different for some of you. When it comes to career, I feel this is a counselor, a therapist opportunity that's coming in. That could be standing up in a public forum, but it is definitely helping others who need that mental clarification, all right? So they're dealing with traumas, they're dealing with pain, they're dealing with injustices, and you're going to get this offer to help them through that. Now, around midweek, we have the Six of Pentacles, and we have the Ace of Wands, so... This is that point in time when you're finally going to get back whatever it is you deserve. The Six of Pentacles, again, is representing balance for the sign of Sagittarius. You're going to be midweek feeling completely good, like you give, they give. You give, they give. You're on your path to starting a brand new beginning that is going to be very, very excited. So when it comes to a job, when it comes to a career, a project, an invention that you're working on, the payout is getting ready to come in. It's not here yet. It is getting ready and you can feel this birth of this situation coming saying, yeah, I know it's going to come over the next three months because they trickle in. Sometimes it's right up front and sometimes it comes in increments. This one will come in increments, but you are dealing with two people over here, two very different energies. This one is honest and truthful. This one is also honest and truthful, and they only give to the right people at the right moment. If these two were in reverse, I'd be like, run. I, I wouldn't even do the reading. It would be so negative. So we are have the three of swords over here, and we have the seven of pentacles. Dark and deep energy around it. And that's what I mean. You're starting something new. You were involved in situations, whether that is work, whatever it was you loved, whatever you put most of your time and energy in, there is that um, you aren't getting it back. And as midweek comes, you demand to get it back. I want a new beginning. I want to start this over. I need this new project. I need this new focus in my life. This one is not going to accept, okay? One might be a little bit dark on one side. 
meaning you deal with dark people, and that's the therapist that I'm talking about, counselor, therapist, psychiatrist. When it comes to mental well-being, you're getting an offer to work with people who have been through a lot of trauma, okay, and for that group of you. This is a lot of heartbreak where that Queen of Swords has been through everything, and that's the true definition of the Queen of Swords. So when you're looking at Tarot, Sag, this person has been through heartbreaks. They have had been spit on, stomped on, and now they've learned how to transmute all of that negative and they can listen to everything going on around them. So I feel there, if this is a romance, you were dealing with someone who had two people on the side and you're going to hear the truth this week. So right around midweek, actually. At the end of the week, we have the Sun card, beautiful, and we have the Five of Pentacles. You're healing over things. This Sun card means it can't get much better than this. That's the overall general meaning of that card. What I'm guided to say is the lack that you're feeling, the being ignored, being unwanted, being rejected over and over, that is going to change. So you are ending a cycle, and it may be because of these two individuals over here. I say two, it could be one, but it really feels like two. Right at the end of the week, you know the situation needs to be changed. It needs to be healed. It needs to grow or it will not work. The lack is no longer going to work for you. The five of pentacles, guilt, shame, lack. You don't like the not guilt and shame. Lack of everything regarding this situation. You deserve adequate compensation and you're going to tell them that. You aren't making enough money. That's the bottom line. We have the Prince of Swords over here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. We have Leo on the table tier too. And the Four of Pentacles. There's a huge difference between you and this situation over here. Now, keep in mind, this is a general reading. It could be your partner and their work life that I'm talking about. It could be your neighbor, your best friend, or your child. Somehow, this reading is affecting you where you are picking up the feeling the feeling, and it's affecting you in your material world. So whatever is going on with this person, they have a split mind. They may have a split personality. Truly, they may have two different personalities. This Prince of Swords is a justice coming in. This is looking everything up, an out-of-the-blue type experience where they come in and they're going to share something with you and they want to heal this situation. Whatever is going on, you really have to be careful with this and a decision will need to be made on your part if you can continue what is taking place, but most of you are being guided. Follow your gut. You're going to know if it's time to change the, the direction that you're going in this situation. So the overall message to help you focus to get past this, to focus on your goals and to get what is meant for you in a positive way is the Knight of Wands. And that's getting on your horse and taking action and using your gut, using your hermit mode. Step back and dive into your intuition and follow your gut. It will lead you toward what is exciting, what is stimulating you. This is somebody who comes in and out of your life. Pay very close attention. No matter what this experience is, especially those of you where they're dealing with a lot of uh, mental health issues, it's time for you to really reconsider what's going on. You may decide to help them because you weren't, and you may decide to walk away from them, all right? Now, they have the Fool card, and they're being guided to not be foolish in what they do, although I'm sure they have been foolish a lot because they're going through a lot, whoever this side is. The Fool doesn't mean foolish, and it does represent the sign of Aries. So the fool does not mean foolish. It means that you do the research. It's, it's taking this information right here, whatever they're looking up, whatever they're doing, finding the truth in it that works for them, a backup plan. If this doesn't go right, then I have this, I have this, I have this. I feel this person has done some really foolish acts when it comes to creating partnerships all the way in general, creating team camaraderie. They may not know how to do it, because they're going through their own issues. When it comes to a relationship, no matter whether it's family or romance, that relationship 
is a beautiful opportunity as long as they come in the fool in the straight upright positive sense but if they are foolish it can topple over so you have to take action towards what you're being guided to do so i hope this helps you have an amazing week thank you for watching much love